Weather from where you live. We've got low clouds, some fog around, but also all notice all these spots on our satellite and radar. Those are areas of some light snow, snow pellets, freezing drizzle around. So uh, I've had reports of a few little light dustings of snow here and there, and also a little bit of a, a thin ice accumulation from the freezing drizzle. Most of the roads are wet, but we've had a little bit of ice accumulation in parts of the area outside of the roadway. So bottom line is, Watch for some slick spots this evening, tonight, and into tomorrow morning. And there'll be a few more scattered snow showers and flurries around tomorrow as this system passes south of our area, but it's going to kind of interact with a little disturbance coming out of Minnesota. So we'll pick up at least a few more snow showers. Then this little disturbance comes in on Friday with some snow and a little rain mixed in, and a bigger storm off the coast of the Pacific will come in on Saturday. So all our ducks are in a row. These systems are lined up. We have even a bigger one coming in by early next week. So a little spotty light mix around, calm winds, patchy freezing fog around 30 by 11 o'clock this evening. And it's the same song and dance overnight with a low temperature around 29. And a high tomorrow, 35, with a few scattered flurries and snow showers in the afternoon. And with the winds very light out of the east northeast. On Thursday, you know, fingers are crossed after some patchy freezing fog in the morning for a few breaks in the clouds for a while. Then a few flurries late in the day, not much wind, a high temperature up around 38. 18 precision cast. Here we are at 9 o'clock tonight. This is 1 30 in the morning. Still a few bits of snow and freezing drizzle around. It's the same thing early Wednesday morning. And into Wednesday afternoon, notice a few flurries and snow showers around. Few breaks in the clouds are possible on Thursday, mainly uh, morning to the midday hours before we cloud over again and see a few flurries later on in the day. Can't completely rule out a localized dusting of snow here and there. You can see the model indicates a couple or a few places getting a tenth and maybe a third of an inch of snow by near late morning or midday. Tomorrow. And then we have this little disturbance come through Friday with a little light snow and light rain. A little very minor localized accumulation possible. It's the same thing on Saturday. Sunday warms up and turns windy, but then an Arctic front comes through on Tuesday with some rain and thunder, and then a little ice and snow. And behind that, one surge of cold air. And then this cold front will reinforce the cold air coming southward. So watch this. One little lobe of slightly cooler air Saturday night. But right here, here comes the cold air. Here's the Arctic front about right in this zone. Comes through early Tuesday, and you can see the pinks indicating the much colder air coming in from the northwest. 70 forecast. Normal high, mid to upper 30s. Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. 40, then falling to near freezing on Saturday. But, you know, all of a sudden it's 53 late on Sunday, 56 on Monday with rain, a little thunder late. And then temperatures tank on Tuesday. And Trevor, we may go from 56 on Monday to 12 on Tuesday night with a wind chill of 7 below. There you have it. Yeah, interesting things behind this uh, warm snap coming.